symbolic victory in Mariupol by May 9. A desperate Vladimir Putin has ordered his troops on a bloody mission to take over the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol so he can celebrate victory during celebrations in Russia next week, according to British intelligence. Fierce fighting is underway inside a sprawling industrial complex, the last stronghold of Ukrainian defenders in a key Black Sea port city. The attack is believed to be related to Russia's May 9 Victory Day celebrations, which Putin routinely uses to demonstrate Russian patriotism and military might. Complete with parades and crowds waving flags. As long as Ukrainian resistance continues at Azovstal, Russian casualties will continue to escalate and frustrate their operational plans in southern Donbass, the Defense Ministry's intelligence update says. But it is far from certain that the Russian attack will be on time. Azovstal is huge. Four square miles of factory buildings, warehouses, elevated walkways and narrow alleyways nestled atop a nuclear weapon-proof network of tunnels where up to 2,000 Ukrainian defenders have taken refuge along with hundreds of civilians. Ukrainian commanders, who report daily news from the plant, say they continue to hold the line. Oleksiy Arestovich, a top advisor to President Zelensky, said on Thursday that the defenders had successfully pushed the Russians out of the compound amid violent clashes. During the storming of the plant by the Russians, the wife of one commander declared late on Thursday evening that he will stand to the end and never give up. It was like saying goodbye, she said afterwards. I'm going crazy about this. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said on Friday that the blockade of defense forces in the Azovstal area continues and that the Russians, with air support, have resumed assault operations to take control of the growing plant. There are many wounded soldiers, but they do not give up, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said in his late-night video message. They are holding their ground. Just imagine this hell. And there are children there, he said. More than two months of constant shelling, bombing, constant deaths. Quote. 